Our motto is fair play, integrity, and transparency. Our electoral system is second to none in terms of its transparency, credibility, fairness, and transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. One Gambia, one nation, one people. December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by reputable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we got you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu. Good morning and uh, welcome again. Uh, if you are just um, watching, this is Kerfadu and my name is Biba Gajiga. So nominations continue here today at the Independent Electoral Commission. We are, we'll, we are broadcasting uh, live. Um, thank you very much for joining uh, Kerfadu. As we mentioned today, um, uh, the first candidate that will be coming will be uh, Papa Fall. Papa Fall also is a Gambian who is vying for the presidency. Of course, um, uh, he'll be coming to file his nomination um, to the Independent Electoral Commission and then uh, he will be um, speaking to the press uh, after, um, of course, I'm um, filing his nomination. So, um, but we are not all, we are not only going to have uh, Papa today and then we have other people also. The National Unity Party uh, also will be coming today to file their nomination uh, and also the Democratic Party, that is DP, also will be coming to file their um, nomination. So um, these are the uh, three, um, or oh, one independent and two political parties that are coming today. So you know, we have started um, uh, since during the weekend to now, uh, nomination continue. And, and today is the last day of uh, uh, nomination as far as um, this nomination in this country uh, concerned. Today is the last day. And then uh, we are starting with Papa Fall and we will end uh, with, uh, of course, um, a, de a Democratic Party. We will be ending with um, the Democratic Party. And they'll be, they will be the, of course, um, last party to, be, uh, to file their nomination here at the Independent Electoral Commission. Uh, Bafala Mobeko, uh, Ala Barakabake, Al Nimbara, Momobe Gibero Ladong, Albekir Fatule Gibekan, uh, Nyun Tembena, Meale Damen Koreke, Walem Independent Electoral Commission, Tidula Mealoko, a nomination of Betent and Kane, Kunga Falenyam and Kunundrum, Bimba Kumasalamin, Nawalem Papa Falti, Independent Candidolem, uh, Independent Candidate Walem, Molem Mialonko, a uh, Amam political party alone, the Baria Lotal Independent, Momol of the Drum Purka support, uh, is a support support at a minkera uh, papa faulty um uh, atele bina pruka la kaito taka di ic la chairman la minkera um ala jim mamar jayiti uh, bari adamatina bi nga lone ko political party fula anate minkera independent party di uh, ito le bina bi pruka jiko drum ke la kaito taka di uh, ati independent electoral commission la chairman la uh, minkera ala jim mamar jayiti nata bada jiedu uh, minbina walem national unity party or the political party walem kutama ame alonko alon di gambia banko kanjang bari nata bada jiedu uh, minbina walem demo Democratic Party, the uh, Mialonko, a different political party, the Mialonko, uh, yeah, Londi, Gambia, Banco, and Changoto. Independent candidate Kiline Bina, Mimfolo Bina, and in political party Fula, uh, Mialonko, Bina B, of course, a nomination, and Bilem Lun Labangoti, Alialo Nenga, Kumasele Nunfang. Uh, covering uh, CBT Lungo, now Kumasi, October uh, 
karo atleta sabole kol kuma setanu ando abe banna bile fang arjuma lungora november karo atle lulo independent candidate abe kuma sela wala ayena labang democratic of course some party mi alonko political party ole mi alonko abe lori gambia banko kanjane nyen temben wala ko ti mi alonko abe keren dilen jaje fal dilen wax ne re ker fatu ngene kadi setan tetament of course some send nomination yo xamne ñu ngi continuer biri gambia fini dilen wax ne rek am tenak da fa melni ku ñoo ñëké mo nek papa ko sam kidi papa fall papa fall nak comme ni mako waxe demba mom la ñoo mom la gaay di ñëkke de na file nomination ami kaytam yo xamne amna ko yo xamne requirement ic la nako of course sam jox ic comme no len ko nek di gisse rek ni da fa melni mom tok na jakarlo na ak kidi independent electoral commission sen chairman bi alaj maru ndiaye comme no len ko gisse ni rek na joxe kaytam yi pour mon tamet mo su pare mo face of course am media bi mu na waxa gay kidi of course am papa fall mom ngeen ne kadi gis nonu di face am ic sen chairman bi gis ngeen ko mom ak ic official ñom jo yeb ñu ngi fa di talk mo yeb ñu ngi fa ñu ngi talk jakarlo ak independent candidate bini mom nak sufa joge tay nañ am national unity party ño xamne nañ ñew 11 o'clock to 11:30 ñom nañ ñew political party la of course am suñu ñom suñu fa joge nañ gis ne democratic party dp ñom tamet nañ ñew so tay ñaari political party lañ am ak ben independent candidate ño xamne dañ leno dañu submit sen nomination a paper yi te minen chalmi na kala gondon da de ker fadu waktu ni minen non biya rek to no min goni woni of course independent electoral commission ko non woni ic ko ton min goni joni joni ni onon ji of course hande ne nomination o o continent do do independent electoral commission do bay comme non birum yon ni hankire hande ko independent candidate do idorte onon ji mo jodi ha parisa independent candidate do no wiete woni papa fall mako jodi ni onon o jia mako jodi taka of course o sam wala mako jodi mbo huchondiri e independent electoral commission chairman o dum wadi alaj mamar njay ko mako ni neddo ido mo gandantuma hande wari mako non so immi wadon hande national unity party ko political party be of course arat nga mabbe ne be garat pour be mbadi nominer wala be mbada file nomination papers mako so immi wadon democratic party mabbe ne be garat of course sam si allah jabi democratic party no ko political party mo gandantuma mbo gambia do ko mabbe hande matin do ar hande ko political party ji didi ngarata yo independent party goto am arata pour be mbadi nominate of course am si allah jabi so ko dum wodi wad golti on ji papa fall non mako jodi ni mo borni haftan dane jom wadi max mako woni holdere de ni mo halda of course am ic official ji mo gandantuma ko ben ligoto ic ic non woni himbe be gandantuma mabbe mari kala ko woni kulle election ne gamme do no carte de beddor toni bedder teni der leydi gambia do ko mabbe mari kulle dum ic chama non non joni mo jodi be pada kayti mako yi funti dadi yo ko ko be lamdo to dum fof ko kulle de gandantuma hande papa falde e funti nadde do e dum anin ic na wayno bo halda yimbe mako be kono non birum yon ni rek independent candidate ji kewdi gari do ya gandantuma kayti mabbe di jonani fayda kayti mabbe di didi be gardidi wonani kayti di gandantuma di joni kono be mbino ic no min gandanan ma kayti di do asedo makko nono ari fayda ko jangoni asedo non gandi ko jango si allah jabi of course ko ko jango si allah jabi inde de fo puntinte ah imi be gandantuma ko ben badi qualify pour darogol for the presidency of course am hika o carte mo gandantuma ko den carte beddete hika that is it so papa fall is already seated in front of the Um, I see chairman that is uh, like more guy of course I'm um, he's the one that you are seeing um, right now he's in his uh, white half tan uh, of course um, today is Friday beautiful half tan and then he's the one we are in the face mask and then the, um, uh, putting on a, a wife a wife, sorry a white half tan and uh, he's right in front of the ic chairman that is uh, alaj marinjai so that's him there as you can um, see that is a uh, papa fall for you papa fall is an independent candidate here in the country and then he is also vying for the presidency 
as we mentioned earlier after Papa file today we'll be having the national unity party that is uh, NUP um, and from there then we'll be having the democratic party it's also another political party uh, that is uh, um, already operating in the country so they will also file their nominations of course um, at the IEC here where we are broadcasting uh, uh, of course um, live so but for now it's a proper file uh, from 9.30 to 10 a.m. Papa file of course um, will be here and after facing the IEC officials the same Papa file will of course um, face um, the journalists uh, to talk to them about what he ca what he will be doing for the country um uh, these are uh, these are some of the things that of course um uh yes i i believe journal the journalists will ask some of these questions to profile so currently he is having a chat with the independent electoral commission and he seems like um he's talking um i believe uh our technicians will connect there and let's see how he will file his uh nominations is Few people are done. Uh, Solen pare. Um, but nain nain link fale nyu hall. Na kale nyu uh. Um, kai tami fufunono. Neko tax clearance certificate. Um, neko ma ngadaru. A declaration of asset. Um, neko kala ko abide ko ni jaudi mada. Anu mufuti polu commission um kola be onde na ku ngoni jaudi am. Hande anu wa wadaro e mona candidate. Si don jaudi ne ko yata e. So um that is it. Um as I mentioned earlier, um that is proper file. So we um uh, we are not able to get what he's saying right now, but um I can tell you that he'll be speaking to the press. <coughs> that is the most important thing. Uh we are going to bring you that everything that he will be saying um immediately after he filed his uh, nomination here. Uh, at the independent um, electoral uh, commission so that is it um, as you know um, nomination started uh, if you don't know uh, since last saturday in the country uh, and then the, um, uh, the tomorrow um, iec will be facing the journalists according to the information that we got here iec will be facing the journalists tomorrow by 5 p.m and then they will be um, they will tell them uh, the candidates that are qualified uh, to contest for this um, election and candidates that are not qualified also to contest for this election. We know that we have uh, around 13 political parties and the rest are independent. So it's like we are having 26, um, of course, some aspirants for this upcoming election. So in a country like the Gambia, it was um, 2 million people of population, but we are having um, a lot of, lot of um, candidates. But then um uh as we've seen we are as, as we've seen um uh, throughout this uh, uh nomination is the uh, united democratic party national people's party and also gdc um led coalition with the aprc not alliance movement um these are the people that uh, uh, have produced that crowd that can convince a people that probably they may be part of the people you know that can uh, uh, of course, um, they may be part of the people um, uh, that can win this election. So, uh, Papa Fal is already seated, and then um, he is uh, right now um, in front of the um, IEC chairman. That is it. So, um, tomorrow by 5 p.m., they'll be facing uh, the press, of course, to tell them um, who are the candidates that are qualified. I think um, a lot of people in the country are waiting for this um, day that is tomorrow. Um, actually to see to it um, who are the candidates i know some of some, most of these candidates are sitting in saying uh, oh will i be qualified will i be qualified and uh, which is very very important uh, i think um, they should um, uh, take note of of course some things uh, uh, they should they should they, they should provide every detail um, that is uh, requested by the independent electoral commission uh, to be um, fair uh, to Gambians also and you know some of them um, of course some should tell us the reality on the ground that um, what are some of the things or the reasons why they want to be Gam they want to be the, the president of this country is it that they want jobs is it that they want to change things in the country or what exactly do they want 
So nomination started last Saturday. If you don't know, um, last Saturday, of course, um, Joseph um, H. Joof was nominated, or he filed his nomination. Uh, of course, um, Marisok Jabati also filed. Uh, Alaji Mamadi Kurang also filed. But um, this same day, Matthew Gomez withdrew and said um, I wanted to, of course, some um, uh, contest. But I am saying I have withdrawn now. The reason best known to him because he did not speak to any journalist. The only thing that we know was that he he withdrew from um, the looking for the presidency. And then the next day was on a Sunday, that is uh, the thirty first of uh, October. Ibrahim Tabora Mane, of course, he came with a crowd among the independent candidates. I think it's Ibrahim Tabora Mane and Esa Fall who pull a lot of crowd among the independent candidates. Uh, Ibrahim Tabora Mane, of course, first came on Sunday, followed by Momodu Ba One. <laughs> he remember Momodu Ba One is the one who said he want to um, shift the capital from Banjul to um, Soma and Farafanya, and he said the Gambia is lacking vitamin C, so he is the one who can inject that vitamin C uh, to Gambian. In short, he's saying the Gambia is sick. That was Momodu Ba One. We then had Banki the same Sunday uh, after Momodu Ba won. Uh, Banki uh, could not speak to journalists after filing his nomination, um, uh, but said he had a COVID-19 test and he don't know um, whether it will be positive or, 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 or negative. So he, he don't want to infect anyone um, with that, according to um, Banki. Um, uh, on the, the same Sunday, after Banki, you have, uh, uh, of course, uh, yes, you have uh, ANRD, that is the, uh, of course, um, uh, uh, ANRD, uh, Alliance for National um, Reorientation and Development. That is, uh, uh, of course, um, Lamin Bojang's party. He, he, of course, um, uh, he's the founder of that party, which is not long ago after having issues with the Gambia um, Action Party. That is um, uh, GAP after having a problem with GAP, so he formed his political party and then he was here on Sunday for the nomination. Of course, he also came with some people um, uh, who said they are supporters of the party. That is uh, Lamin Bojang or General Bojang. Pazino, of course, um, has a very rich um, uh, biography. Then on Monday was another big day here at the Independent Electoral Commission where, of course, um, GFE should have been the first pa party to come but you know they've endorsed the united democratic party so they did not come um i believe their supporters would have joined united democratic party at 11 a.m um they came and they are pres they are, they are presidential candidate their standard biara was of course um uh he, he, their standard biara filed his nomination that is um lawyer Hussein Utawo. Um, okay. who is the first uh, of course um, candidate to declare all his assets and there you go. Papa Fall, independent candidate, has uh, submitted his nomination papers to the. Um, it was GMC, my commission. party. The chairman on your screen and there. then APP, Al who Ali did Umar not turn Mujai. out, they came with the CA the next day. So it seems like um, Papa Fall is about to fierce the press, that is um, uh, the media right now. So let's see um, uh, what, what will Papa say. Let's see what will Papa say. Um, I believe um, so many journalists are here. Uh, to ask um, uh, a lot of questions to Papa. Yes, started. He uh, outlined five key points that he feels is necessary to move the country forward. And those are, those are the citizens' reorientation, uh, citizens' welfare, uh, citizens' uh, uh, Tax and reform and uh, tax reform and civil service reform, combating corruption. Those are the things that we have right now. In it, we have very detailed policy-driven uh, outlines that, as soon as we are re uh, elected, we will hit the ground running uh, with those policies. Well, uh, it's being tough. Uh, the example have to start from us, ourselves. Uh, 
we have to be upright citizens as leaders, set an example, and have zero tolerance for corruption. Uh, we feel that right now uh, the, there is so much leniency uh, in terms uh, of corrupt behaviors uh, and corrupt, uh, corruption. Uh, I think that uh, it is necessary to uh, put in place uh, strong uh, deterrence so that the country can move forward and people can understand that corrupt behaviors are going, not going to be tolerated. I have already declared my assets. Uh, we have been authorized. I submitted the documents. Um, as I spoke to the media before, uh, this dual citizenship is not, not an issue right now because uh, whatever IEC have outlined is the law. Uh, now, during the process, uh, we all know that international law does not allow dual citizenship to be in decision-making, policy-making positions. So uh, it is really not an issue because once you're elected, you are, you are required by international law to relinquish those, those, those policies. Sir, uh, I don't know what you mean by declaring publicly. Do you want me to go to the microphone and telling people what I have? Well, IEC requires that we write and notarize. That's what we did. That's what I did. I don't think there is any other requirement that you will ask for us to do. It's the law, and we did, we abide by the law. If you check over there, our asset declaration is there. It is notarized. And that's what IEC requires. So whatever you are trying to push here, it's not going to stand. No, so, sir? Uh, go ahead. There. I declared my, corrupt, uh, my, my assets. What do you mean? Am I corrupted? Do you see anything with me? I declared my, 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 uh, my assets. It is with the IEC. If you want tomorrow, you come and check it, and you verify. Isn't that enough? Why didn't you do what you're doing today? Why did you contest an election that time, but you finally needed to pick up arms against a government that was elected by a majority of governments? I don't know if that would make any sense, because we've been here for 22 years, and elections have been done several times, and we have seen that the election have been rigged many times, and it's a tyrannical government. It was a tyrannical government. Uh, there was no press freedom. You have the right to question me right now, but in those days, you have a problem. So uh, let, me, let me just uh, answer the question. What I'm saying is, we tried. Gambian people suffered. They tried. They tried and elect, uh, through elections, and it didn't work. Now, if there is no government or a, a nation that is freed just by negotiation. If tyrants are holding on to power and they are refusing to relinquish it, would you sit down at the table and negotiate with them? To answer your question, but it was the election that, that, that was I don't think the elections are fair at that time. It is, you can claim that it is through elections, but we see that time and again, the guy declares that he's going to win all the time. And then we've seen 300,000 votes that they have actually, voter cards that they have actually stopped. So Mr. Ford, um, it's one minute and okay. we're done. Okay, um, we've seen the country's education. 
them according to many reports and results uh, is below average. We go to um, the high, we don't have enough practical material. What do, uh, you, what, what do you intend to do about the Gambian education system? I think we need to go back to the old ways of education. The education that produced me and all the other officers, wonderful officers who are here, uh, uh, the primary education that we challenge our children. You cannot have a child go through three, four, five years without being tested. Doesn't make any sense. By the time they, require, they understand that we need support or we need to know this, it's too late. We need to go back to our old ways of doing things. And that's it. Uh, Thank you so question. much. Our times are up. We appreciate you. Uh, we will hit the ground running um, soon. Thank you. Papa Fall there for you, independent uh, aspirant. Just submitted his nomination papers to the IEC uh, chairman and as well uh, spoke members of the press. Among them was our December 2021, Trump. one of the Gambia's most uh, crucial uh, elections uh, is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by repeatable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we got you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu. December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot. All right, thank you very much. That was, of course, um, Papa Fall. He is another independent candidate here. He's an uh, independent uh, aspirant who is, of course, um, uh, vying for the presidency come December 4th. So if you just don't know, a brief, of course, um, a background uh, biography of Papa Fall. He was born in 1968 in the country, that is the Gambia, and moved to the United States of America in 1991. Um, of course, um. Um, he had a double citizenship, of course. Um, Papa Fala, um, oh, he was enlisted in the U.S. Army in 2009 and became a technology, of course, um, specialist. Um, serving um, um, a tour of duty in, Af in Afghanistan um, before he was uh, dismissed in 2012. Um, uh, Papa aided on a businessman. Uh, Cherno Njai in plotting the 2014 uh, Gambian uh, coup attempt and uh, pursued um, M4 assaulted um, M4 assault rifles, uh, which was shipped uh, to Gambia in 50 gallon barrels. Uh, on the 30th December 2014, Mr. Fall led an attack on the State House in hope of getting elements of the Gambian army to join the coup. However, the Gambian army overwhelmed the rebels with heavy fire and he returned to the U.S. On 1st January 2015, the FBI found um, the rifle training of course, some uh, instructions and uh, Google satellite images of the Gambian capital of Banjul uh, in his house. Uh, and on the 5th January 2014, he was arrested. He faced chances of uh, he was he faced chance uh, um, charges. He faced charges of violating the um, uh, act, um, the act that is the Neutrality Act of uh, 1794, which prohib uh, prohibited um, Americans from uh, waging acts of war on other countries. That is Papa Fall for you. Is an independent candidate who is now looking for the presidency in the country. Uh, Papa Fall, long with him, 
eh ata fanam be president ya nyirika gambia banko kan jang zero corruption aba fokan fengo fem be yalon ko tafale ani jenko akabe o kella gambia banko kan janne e papa fal ko ngam fonu angale kan ro mole mi yalon ka wulata gambia banko kan janne 1968 sangola anata america banko kan 1991 sangola anata citizenship fula ko banko di ya fula soro kasi america di ngori bare fanan ko kay gambia di ngoti ay wosoro nun e fali ya dundi america la ami ko no 2009 Uh, and dong aki atatraji akira la technology special uh, specialist men sunta atata num fang for afghanistan janni ba bondila do ko la 2012 uh, mr fall eko attending uh, business la do mi alon ka kuma di cierno njai eko kafuta nyama pour ka je ko dong eh eh 2014 coup d'etat mi alon ko lekira num gambia banko kan jang eh pour ka je ko dong isa tamandi ando e dunta num gambia banko kan jang ye kidol dundi jang ya dundi dame ngolem e galon bare lolu kono e ko ya dundi wolle kono mi alon ko ta lefo tan lolu nyongol e ko december karo wa tiri tan sabo 2014 sangola e ko papa e anala moli na da state house attack e ando fana ya mira num ko gambia so jaro dolu bi jele mi alon ko be join bari wolu fana nata kelo ka kelo murundi kan e min sunta fan e ka du tan num bakele a nyaa nyaa nyaama ko gambia e sojarolu mi alon ko tol fanan e kidolu fayi mi alon ko wol lettera nun jang kabrin ina ta kaw mansa kunda min keta jamela mansa kunda ti kaw bondi jang january karwa telephone 2015 e ko fbi wala min ning sitifani tiwol mi alon ko be america banko kan ando e la e la do ko yonta baaki atole ala nola anala tilingola e ko inata alon ko il il a il a il a jaman labang jorangol mi alon ko le soto inata je ko ate papa fal kita multi mi alon ko ay muna fang ila jorangol la le fang mi alon ko ay ay wala use nun kana banjul jam pour ka kelo ke jang e ko andum wala lu wat nyale fang ila act coming point de neutrality ko momo nyanta neutral la le ila act nyi mi alon ko ya dadanu 1974 sangola andum ay balle banko banko mi alon ko abe america e bantala ko e kanela jorangol ta mo manyan na kela jorang o ka america jorangol ta pour ka o bankol ta ke attaque e ko wala na ina ina inata e ko ina inata mutanum fang ate papa fall e silang ate papa mo multi mi alon ko abe banko nyini ngol la gambia banko kan jang ando a fole wo tumo lanu ako democracy mantra nun jang e ki ba taral fango afo ko mil ba nyini ka kan gol wo tumo la e buka hani la kanyin ko sifa fanke pour ka je ko e ka ka nyini ka wo tembo la ako do ala tale pour ka je ka banko murundi e banko be nu e banko ay ka banko murundi ka ke gambia ti pour ka je ko zero corruption to nyanin tilum ay sabati gambia banko kan jang e papa fale nyimfo e silang ala kaytolu adi ai si la chiamano la le alay mamaru njaiti silang abitale ate fanan fasibiti nala abe batuna ka jibero ke be mune folay e koku mo ne kon papa fall independent candidate la e mom nak dafa melni joxe na pepa me promise bum joxe dal mo ne kane mom zero corruption mune lepalo hamne corruption na ko daha mom suñ ko voter in office mom dafa melni joxe na kayta me pare legi demna nañ expect another political party bo hamne mo ne ka national unity party ñom tamet nañ ñew ci karam dafa melni papa fall independent candidate bo hamne mom tamet na taxaw mom solen fatelu ke mom ne ko na ci niti yo hamne ñom ñoo ploton of course coup d'etat bi 2014 bala mom coup d'etat di film mu delu america bala gay di ko ti of course am fbi yo xamne ñom ñoo neka am in america so lolu mo xewon fofu nonu ko do min potanta on taw bay papa fall woni ne do mo gandantuma mako ne mbona bo hota moto ji mako di gondon yide ni o kiri kayti mako yi ci chiamano joni o fatata asse do do woni bimbe be ndako be kalana do ko ndako wadi qualify ndako wadi qualify pour darogol of course am election der leydi gambia do jonno ko parti goddo min parata no woni national unity party mabbe be garat pour be kollira kayti mabbe di independent electoral commission do woto mbadi ngol of course am wolem papa falti nun ko ha fale nyamen dong ben candidate do batulale min kera national unity party di ada fanam ba batulale pour ka je ko dong ngaji be ani mune bina ano abe mune fula ki ba talale of course am jang and that is it we have to Um, uh, just take a short break before the under, uh, before the other candidate will arrive here that is the national um, unity party it's a political party um uh, we'll be waiting for them and see how they will come we'll show you everything uh, but um um we will um definitely take a short break before their arrival so they will arrive at 11 o'clock and they'll be here until 11:30 that is their time you know every political party or every aspirant is allocated um uh, it, 30 minutes is allocated for you that you can um 
uh, come and file your nomination so we'll take a very short break then uh, we will come back at 11 a.m uh, to see what will the national unity party bring for us alert coverage they will be joined by repeatable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we get you covered. Your voice, your ballot with Kerfadu.